Oklahoma is a beautiful, uh, beautiful state, you know, part of the Bay Area. Uh, <laughs> knows what that is. It's all there. No, uh, beautiful, but they have a horrible problem, and that problem is tornadoes. They are deadly and horrible, but the best thing about tornadoes is tornado news coverage. Because for those weathermen and women, it is their Oscars, Grammys, and Emmys all wrapped into one breaking news report. It is showtime, and they will interrupt anything to give you the information. They'll be like, we're sorry to interrupt the finale of This Is Us, but uh, <laughs> we've got a situation over here in Jones County now. On this Doppler map now, if you look, <laughs> This big orange blob, now if it, I have ejaculated, so Bob take over, Bob runs in, straws up his butt, and uh, Bob is like, now if that turns red, that means we have a twister, and they're so excited, and then there's always someone in the field, they got a report in the field, they're like, Jennifer, how is it out there? And she's like, I'm in the middle of a tornado, there's flying everywhere, it's dangerous. And then they always say, through these reports, they're like, stay safe, they're like, stay safe, Stay safe, stay safe. And as if some dad was like, kids, grab your bikes, let's go see a tornado, come on. Right, and then they always say, keep your pets indoors. Keep your pets indoors, keep your pets indoors. Again, as if some dude was like, I wonder what a turtle could do to that thing. <laughs> huh. Oh, about what I expected. <laughs> like, Chauncey, go get that twister, go get it, go get it, go get it. Did a whole tour of the South. Uh, yeah, I, so I went all over the South. I went to Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, yeah, I played the Grand Old Opry. Yes, and now I'm playing a uh, haunted dinner theater, so this is exciting. <laughs> Future Dave and Buster's right here. No. <laughs> Why would you say that about this beautiful place? No. Uh, uh, no, I, so the Grand Old Opry, I mean, it's the birthplace of country music, it's literally a church, it's beautiful, and I, well, I'm a so I walked out on stage and I was like, good evening, don't you idiots realize that country music sucks? <laughs> they did not like that, they, <laughs> they were upset, uh, they were pissed, one guy stood up in the back and was like, get him, and, uh, <laughs> That was Garth Brooks. He's a big fan. Big fan. <laughs> big fan. Comes to all my shows. And uh, so I said, okay, so here's really why country music sucks. There's an instrument in country music. You put it in your mouth, you flick it like this. It goes bing, 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 bing. Do you guys know what the name of that instrument is? Thank you for saying it, sir. We have an anti Semite here. It's called a Jew's harp. Uh, he's like, like where else? Where else? No, uh, yeah, no, it's called a Jew's harp. And I was like, you guys need to change the name of that instrument. And Garth's like, why? That's what they sound like, Joel. And I'm like, shut up, Garth, you're not helping. So, <laughs> so, I, so then I have to double down in these situations. So I went, hey, Tennessee, you guys used to be a slave state, huh? And that's when those weirdos started cheering. <laughs> I know, this is not funny. This is a report. Uh, we need to go tell news outlets about this thing that happened. And so now they're cheering, and I'm this white, and I realize, well, I started a rally. And <laughs> it was like, Roy Moore, everybody, come on out. And no, uh, so now they're cheering, and so then I have to triple down on them. So then I went, we had to come down here and kill you to stop you from doing it. And Garth's like, try it again, Joel, we're running out. <laughs> I got in the General Lee and got out of there, so. <laughs> then I booked a show uh, about as far south as you could go in New Orleans. Uh, and everyone's like, what about Florida? Florida, not a state. So, uh, <laughs> not a part of our country, everybody knows that. <laughs> they seceded. Uh, <laughs> they don't even know it. Uh, so, <laughs> no, so I, and I, I, play, I played uh, the French Quarter in New Orleans, and I, uh, beautiful French Quarter, I walked out on stage and I was just like, good evening. Paris, uh, right? Right, because only in America would we take a perfectly preserved French neighborhood from 250 years ago, and what do we do with it? Yeah, titty then beads, yeah, in my titty, in my beads, yeah. That's exactly, yeah, Mardi Gras, that's exactly how Jesus wanted Lent to start, right? 